feel so close to you right now. Simulation helps students to translate among multiple representations. This is because of the physical systems represented. The student makes sense of the concept by seeing the connection between the representations available. Simulation also helps the students to build a mental model of physical, chemical, and biological systems. The students are able to visualize what they see on the textbooks or what they hear from their instructors. Simulation offers opportunities for hands-on experiences. The students explore scientific and other concepts learned in class. Simulation helps the students to see how equations and measurements are related. Students are also able to see the effect of variation. Simulation helps in collaboration. The students are able to work in the groups and help each other understand the concept they are learning. This method also helps students who do research on a topic they are working on. This will help them get more information on what they are working on. In today's world, we have learners who must be active learners. And the Simulation Center allows our students to not only take the theory that they learn in the classroom, but apply it in the Simulation Center. The result is that we have very clinically competent, compassionate clinicians who have excellent outcomes. I love the Simulation Lab. Um, it definitely gives us um, a chance to practice in an environment where our instructors can watch us and give us feedback on how we're doing. Students are loving simulation. They are saying that they're learning more from the few hours that they get in simulation than from a day or two in the hospital. Having that experience throughout nursing school has really helped progress my skills and my confidence level and the ability that I have to take care of a patient one-on-one. -on -one. You are the nurse. You're taking care of the patient. You're doing any and everything. Everything rests on you. You get to call the doctor. You get to call, you know, you get to do all the orders. It can be anything from a basic physical assessment on the patients um, up to something as, as acute or um, serious as a cardiac arrest. And based on what they do to the patient, what medications they give, what interventions they do, will determine the outcome of the scenario. Right. Okay. Good. Oh, good. Back in the Okay. Mr. Kearns, can you back with us? Mr. Kearns, can you hear me? Let's check for a um, are able to identify what, what their strengths are and then they're also able to identify what their weaknesses are and grow from those. I think it gives you a confidence of knowing that you're not the only one that makes the same, that same mistake. Sometimes the um, ways that you learn the best are from the mistakes that you make and um, throughout the mistakes that are made here in the Sim Lab, you're able to learn more adequately how to take care of a patient in a real life situation. So we learn from those mistakes and expand upon it and we become more mature as nurses. Simulation is, it makes me confident going into the nursing world. Limitations of simulation as a learning strategy. The advantages of simulation as learning strategies by far outweigh the disadvantages. Since simulation as a learning strategy is centered on a lesson completed through discovery or student-centered and problem-based learning, there can be some disadvantages with which present themselves. The lengthy time to prepare for the lessons. Sometimes elevated cost involved in the lessons can be a challenge. The assessment process can be at times more complicated as compared to more traditional teaching methods. Without a rubric in place assessment may be difficult for a teacher to give appropriate and immediate feedback. The lack of follow-up activities can result in sabotage of the overall lesson. Lack of participation and cooperation of the students and learners can have a negative effect on the learning process. Simulation advantages. Team collaboration, the students are able to visualize what they see in their textbooks. Limitations of simulation, lack of participation and cooperation from the students, and the elevated cost can be a challenge.